And good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Most global markets got smashed overnight with the uh, Dow and the SPX 500 and a few other European indices down 1.5, 1.6% as well. Japan 25 also took a little bit of a tumble. Um, and things are looking a little bit more bearish now. We're trading uh, pretty much bang on uh, a potential support level at 16.738. Next potential support at 16.598. And um, looking at these uh, kind of chart formations right now, uh, undoubtedly there are technical pressures in play right now. And um, we'll just have to wait and see how the current fundamentals uh, pan out. Matt D just crossed a zero line. There's still room to move on the RSI and the slow stochastic right here. Um, We've tried to have a little mini rally, rally this morning, but it does not look uh, like it's got a whole lot of confidence. Looking onto the UK 100, equally looking a bit rough. Had a bit of a, a, a bigger bounce this morning, uh, but already drifting. You just see by the uh, tip of the candle right there, uh, 6463 is a potential support. Next potential support, 6390. So moving on to that, that Japan 225, um, also had a bit of a negative day, bounced per perfectly this time off 15.488, bounced a little bit higher cap but at 55 period SMA and with uh, dollar yen, dollar yen was well, managed to go back up to 108 but um, I think the US dollar is still going to be moving in the right direction. Um, we do have some uh, data out today from the Fed regarding um, the, the split between the doves and the hawks for, for interest rates. So a lot of people will, will be waiting to see what happens there uh, but certainly people are getting more comfortable with the fact that we might be raising rates in the US sooner rather than later, coupled with um, a renewed talk from the from the Eurozone that we could be looking for stimulus to help support the Eurozone uh, countries. So Euro dollar will be an interesting one to have a look at, though it still bounces about 126. So looking at that dollar yen position, um, the fact is that we did have a, a quasi potential support around about 108. Um, we dipped below it yesterday but closed bang on the level. We dipped below it again today in the rise of the level but that 21 period SMA is still acting as a cap. So if I actually just go ahead and, and, and highlight this level just for us to see it that, that little bit more clearly. Um, uh, this this could be relatively strategic in the short term. The technicals are looking a little bit uh, a little bit negative right now, but the um, the fundamentals behind the U.S. dollar still remains quite strong. But you have to remember now that we did have the um, the Prime Minister of Japan and the Bank of J and the Governor of the Bank of Japan both uh, mentioning about they don't want to have too weak a Japanese yen currency, and we didn't get any additional stimulus flow. Uh, so uh, we mentioned before, 1010 could be a bit of a stretch at this point, but the fundamentals behind the US dollar are, are going to remain strong, certainly stronger than Japanese yen, but after this big move right here, maybe um, enough is enough. Um, crude oil getting absolutely smashed as ever, um, you know, raising rates, people are still worried about um, potential global demand, uh, trading below potential support at 89. Um, the next potential support level there on crude oil is down around about 85 spot 58. So this should be actually good for the global economy's longer term. And cheaper oil is, um, you know, has less tax on on, on progress. But um, certainly the technical um, patterns that we're seeing here, this downtrend is firmly in focus, and we have that, that that strong breakout. And also in the backdrop of rising rates and uh, stronger U.S. dollar, um, fundamentals aren't in favour of West Texas, and. Um, Gold having a little bit of resurgence as people are beginning to pick up some safe haven uh, opportunities as equity markets begin to take a bit of a tumble. So we are rechallenging 1218. That is the next potential resistance. It's also the 21 period SMA. Um, so this is this is kind of interesting actually. Um, gold's been on the back foot for quite a while, um, but now we are um, the fundamentals are kind of more coming into alignment. There, gold's been cheap. US dollars obviously going against this. Rising rates ain't great, but as a safe haven, short term. Um, Kind of uh, spikes in the price action are looking quite good, um, but there's probably limited upside right here uh, due to all the factors that I just mentioned. So uh, this is a very interesting level. Uh, if we break and close above 12.18, that would be a very strong technical signal. Uh, but I'm not sure that we're going to go ahead and get that. So moving on to euro dollar, euro dollar one spot. 2661 is a potential resistance. You can see very clearly here from a technical analysis perspective, this at, this is acting as a cap. Um, a break and close above that would bring us up to one spot 2746, but um, I'm not sure we're going to go ahead and get that. Albeit we had uh, another kind of hammer formation right here on the uh, on the candlesticks. Um, it closed bang on the level, but without any um, through way to, to, to break up higher. So um, euro dollar very interesting at these levels, especially with the eurozone PMI figures in Germany coming out so bad. Finishing up with uh, with GBP USD, we are a little bit of recovery coming back down to one spot zero 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 nine. Um, certainly, again, US dollar uh, quite strong here. Um, 
GBP figures coming out have not been that great. Uh, it's not as weak as the uh, as euro dollar, uh, but we've got a couple layers of potential support. So one spot sixty zero nine to one spot fifty nine seventeen. So economic data wise uh, today, uh, we do have um, crude oil inventories uh, due at three thirty, um, and if we fast forward on to tomorrow, we should have. Uh, US jobless claims as well, which should be quite keenly looked at by uh, a number of uh, traders out there. Make sure you make chart 4 and part of your deck going forward, make insights part of your screen, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.